Hello handsome men and lovely ladies. My name is Whitney, professional psychic and astrologer. Today I'm here to talk about the full moon in Capricorn that's happening on Wednesday, July 13th, 2022 at 21 degrees. This is our first super moon of the year and it's full of intensity. It's full of power. Not only at the time of the full moon are we having this moon in Capricorn, but we're close enough. It's a wide conjunction, but it's close enough to Pluto to where this will be felt so intensely. Now, even though it's intense, this gives us such a beautiful opportunity to create change and to create abundance. Why? Because at the time of this full moon, we're going to say to ourselves, enough is enough. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. If there was anything that was standing in your way from reaching your goals, accomplishing your dreams, manifesting what you want, this is the moon where you can create that change and create that abundance to move forward. Now, the moon will be second sextiling Neptune and trying Uranus. So with the sextile of Neptune, this gives us the spiritual opportunity to use our faith and to be guided by our spiritual family, our, our divine creator. But at the same time, we have the moon trying Uranus, which is also conjunct the North Node. So this is giving us that opportunity to change things and to change them quick. Not only can we change things quickly, but whatever you're creating, whatever changes come about at this time, because it's in conjunction with the North Node, this was divinely guided. This was divinely appointed. Basically, Spirit is saying you're in the right place at the right time to create the opportunities that you want for yourself. Now, before I get into where this moon will be, will be for each sign, I do want to encourage you to run a free birth chart and see where this moon specifically sits at 21 degrees in Capricorn so it can best resonate with you. Now, let's get started. For Aries, this will be in your 10th house of your career. For Taurus, this will be in your 9th house of your philosophy and your beliefs. For Geminis, this will be in your 8th house of taxes, debt, relationships, partnerships. For Cancers, this will be in your seventh house of relationships. For Leos, this will be in your sixth house of your health and your service to yourself and to others. For Virgos, this will be in your fifth house of love, creativity. For Libras, this will be in your fourth house of home and security. For Scorpios, this will be in your third house of your relationships with your family and your mental. For Sages, this will be in your second house of money and values. For Capricorns, this is in your first house of yourself. So this is really, really important for you. When the moon is transiting your first house, as it will be, this is that time when you really want to ask yourself, who am I? Where am I going? Again, what does success mean to me? For Aquarius, this is in your 12th house of unconscious beliefs, understandings, trauma, the ability to heal from that. And for Pisces, this is in your 11th house of community and the worldwide. So I really want to encourage you guys to take a stance and ask yourself, what is important to me at this stage in my life? What is success? Am I a success? And whatever you need to do to get there, this is the time to do it. I hold a full moon and new moon community ritual service every month where it's only 11-11 to join. And this month is no different. If you would like to participate, you can find that information. It's called Moon Magic on my website. But I've also created a tutorial of a ritual that you can do for empowerment during this full moon. And if you would like to see that, you can visit my YouTube at Intentions with Whitney. The information is over here and I love you guys so much. Happy full moon in Capricorn. You deserve all the good things that your heart desires. Remember, what you want wants you. Follow me. I love you guys. Bye.